Oh, yeah, who's, uh, who's scared? Uh, man, the ride is crazy. Eh? One of them crazy ass Freddy Krueger things. Uh, and this one, from what I can remember, I was going to. I was going to a birthday party to somebody's birthday. This is where it started. It was more than this. But what I can remember is I went to a birthday party. Uh, but I wasn't I wasn't invited. Before that before that it was uh there was some girls that was liking me and stuff. These old girls that I haven't talked to in years that used to like me in high school. Named Christiana. This girl named Christiana. Uh, she she was texting me. I was with my around my uh, around somebody or some other female, but. I didn't want them to know who I was talking to, so I thought that I was talking to uh, Christiana, so I put a star, in, I replaced the name with a star, and uh, and you know she was texting me and stuff or whatever. Uh, then I went to this birthday party. Uh, or something, a party. It was a party. Seemed like a birthday party, though. Uh, for this girl. For this girl and her baby. Uh, I mean, for this girl, for this girl's little daughter, baby, whatever. And, uh,. girl that who was hosting it like I had been invited but somebody else I went with somebody else like I think her dad her dad I went with her dad and her dad they went her and her dad was into it during this girl during that her and her dad was like they they weren't cool either uh, or some kind of they weren't they were on rocky roads but when I came in the girl was like, because uh, I wasn't invited, like I said. So she was like, uh, well, you weren't invited, so you got to go. And uh, I was, because cause at first, I was going to let my kid, I was going to let my kid, I was just going to drop my kid out at the, because uh, that's what, that's what, oh, also, when I walked in there, the girl, which was my kid's mother, uh, it was her party, uh, I guess. Um, but but her boyfriend was there at the table. Her boyfriend was there at the table when I first came in. Or well, when I first came in, he was there, and I tried to speak to him. Oh no, did I try to speak to him? Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. But like we passed by, I think I tried to, but it's kind of like he didn't see me. And so then. He uh, now came in the cafeteria, or you know, like the, the part. Uh, it seemed looked like a cafeteria, uh, but it was a, a house party. But it looked like a cafeteria where we were at. And so the the boyfriend of my kid's mother, he had like some dreads, kind of brown skin, kind of hood looking dude, black guy. Uh, and so I went up there, you know, what I'm saying, I was like, well, hey, what's going on? You know, shake his hand, just like shake us. I ain't got nothing against you, you know. But he was like, he was like, if I, he was like, man, he was like, he was like, uh, hey, if I, if you see, I ain't trying to, if you see, I'm not trying to, uh, to speak to you, man. Don't you know? Don't keep trying. And uh, you know, I could have took a offense to that, um, but I walked off. I walked off from him. Put a, I, I walked off from him, and then. Uh, 
somebody else that was in the cafeteria that was like cool with me, some older person. They was like, they was like, is he trying to punk, call himself punking you or something? Or, or, or what? What's up? Like, what you want to, you know? And it was kind of like they were saying, like, what you want to do? I got your back, you know? Whoever this person was, the older person, the older man, he was just like, hey, he talking like he, you know, he, he like he wants something or what? I was like, nah, man, let, let, let him make it, you know? Let him make it, whatever. Let him make it. Uh, then uh, the girl cause it's like I couldn't see her identity I know that was my girlfriend my, my, I know that was my kid's mother's boyfriend so he was there but uh, whoever was throwing this party this girl cause I couldn't see her you know what I'm saying I just was, talk, was talking to her and uh, she was like but she was like uh, she said that I had to leave she was like, he wasn't, she was like, he wasn't invited, he got to leave. He was like, either you got to leave or he got to leave, talking about her dad. And so I was like, well, you know what, I'm, like, I'm going to leave, you know, I was like, I'm going to leave. And uh, like I said, I was going to leave my daughter there, you know what I'm saying, for the party. So I was like, but I was like, man, she, you know, okay, you don't want me here, that's fine. I let and I let your dad stay there instead of me. I don't want to mess nothing up. I don't want to mess this time up with you, so I'm gonna leave. You know, um, so so I uh, I took my daughter and left. We left, and so uh, took my daughter and left. And so then we out uh, outside. It's nighttime, <clears throat> and we kind of like. Still by the house, you know what I'm saying? We on the sidewalk though. It's nighttime. We on the sidewalk. We still by the house, and um, we start hearing. You know, we kind of start hearing some stuff like some screams, and we start hearing some screams and stuff. But it seemed like I already knew Freddy Krueger was after us. Was after me, of course. Like he stay after me. Whoever this Freddy Krueger character is, in his dream, in these dreams. Which I believe is the devil or some seriously strong, bad, horrible, demonic force. Uh, it's always after me. And uh, so, in the name of Jesus, I stay saved, you know, protected. Um, but yeah, so he, so he, uh, so, so I start hearing, we start hearing screaming, a little faint kind of screaming, and, you know, ah. And some crazy stuff going on, you know, and I'm like, what's going on? Like, but they was getting, like, the people getting there was getting slaughtered by Freddy Krueger. Like, he came through the house, like, right after we left, he came in there and started slaughtering people, started slaughtering people and whatever. And, uh, you could hear, we could hear, like, me, it seemed like me, my kid's mother, some different people, I mean, my two kids, we were outside, like, we could hear, but we could hear, we were like, is that screaming? Is that what is that? And, and uh, it was that, it was, you know, uh, Freddy was just now slaughtering folks. And, now, and I was like, I was like, dang, man, I was about to leave my daughter. I was like, I was about to leave my daughter in there. You know, I was like, I was about to leave, you know, I was about to leave her in there. I mean, I was going to let her be in the party and uh, I'm going to let her be, in the, be at the party, you know what I'm saying? I'm glad that. I'm glad that old girl acted a fool and, you know, told me I couldn't stay. So, you know, that was good that she didn't. Um, but it was horrible that those people were getting slaughtered, you know what I'm saying? Uh, good that we got out of there, but horrible that the people were getting slaughtered. And uh, so uh, we started from then on, you know what I'm saying? We were, we, we were you know, uh, and then Freddie came out of there. He was like terrorized. He really was terrified, terrorizing the whole neighborhood, you know what I'm saying, like everybody, but, you know what I'm saying, he had zeroed in on me too, and my family, my two kids, basically, so, I go all around this, different. I mean, so I started going around different places, different, you know, trying to get away from him, um, I think we went to, I don't know, we went to like a, a school setting, different stuff, uh, and I was just, we were just trying to make, you know, do his little plots and stuff. We went, we got into a house, or got into some kind of house, and then, um, 
me and my kids, we were in this living room, and it was like, because we had got away from Freddie, but he, you know, he, he know how he is, like in the movies, you know, you think he gone, but he just fucking with you, he just messing with you, you know what I mean? He just messing with you, trying to catch you off guard and stuff, so he kept trying to do that or whatever, but uh, then I seen him coming down the hall, uh, I seen him, like I felt his presence, you know, after a while of us being in his living room, and uh, me and my kids, and uh, he came, he, he started, he, I seen him like far distance down the hallway, down this long, long, down this long hallway, uh, he came out, and he was like, he was like, it's, he, he, and Freddy Krueger himself said, because I was like, man, I'm about to, you know, I was like, man, you know, I was like, I'm about to go heads up with this dude. I'm like, I'm about to go heads up with with, with this guy, cause you know, I'm not. I mean, I, I'm not finna be afraid of nobody. You know, he trying to kill me. I'm finna go heads up with. Him. And he was like, and he heard me, I guess, or knew. And Freddie was like, yeah. He was like, yeah. It's your destiny. He was like, it's your destiny to fight me. It's your destiny to go heads up with me. You know, I mean, but he was like, you know, it's your it's your destiny to to fight me. And so, uh, so he came out, he came out, uh, and tried to, you know, uh, he came out, start, he started running towards me at the, in the, in the hallway. He started running towards me. So I started running towards him. I, I walked outside of the door. Uh, it was cause like I said, we were in the living room. So I was right there at the edge of the door, uh, to go out of the living room. And I seen, that's where I seen Freddy Krueger up there, uh, you know, up in the hallway. And it was like. A hallway had gates. It was like, just, I don't know how to describe it, but on the side. But he was trying to come in. He came in, and uh, he so we ran we ran at each other. And uh, but he didn't. When we met up, he didn't harm me. He didn't harm me. You know, but I think I was, I just started praying against him, praying against him, uh, praying against him in Jesus' name. And then I got him to ended up me and my kids ended up getting out of the living room, and we were. Uh, Walking through this community, after we got away from him in that school, in that, I mean, I got away from him in that living room. We walked outside, okay. and it was a community of people on the sidewalk, and uh, it was daytime by that time, and uh, they were just—I I think they were. The, the people on the sidewalk were like planting stuff, planting, planting stuff uh, in the grass. I'm not sure. I can't remember, but it was like I've seen a lot of people as I'm walking, as I'm walking through. And uh, then um, I ended up, uh, he still, but, but Freddie's still after us, you know. Uh, so then I got into this car. Uh, it was nighttime and it was like. I knew Freddie was still coming, so I sent my kids up the street walking, cause I knew it was like me and me and Freddie was gonna, gonna have a battle. Seemed like we was, you know, I knew we was gonna have a battle. I guess I'm not sure, but I sent my kids walking up the street, and so Freddie popped up on me in the while I was in the car. He was in the back seat. I was in the front seat, and so he was trying to get me. He was trying to kill me. But I was praying. When I say, when I was earnestly praying hard as I could in Jesus' name, I was like praying in Jesus' name. I was like, in Jesus' name, you not gonna, you not gonna destroy me. You not gonna, you not gonna, you, you know, rebuke you. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus, and you know, all of Jesus' prayers that you can pray. You know, I was praying them against him, and uh, he ended up disappearing. Uh, I mean, I'm talking about when I say hard, praying hard, hard, hard. In Jesus' name, with all my heart, I could feel it in my heart. You know what I'm saying? How I was praying. And uh, I woke up. I mean, I mean, uh, he left. He uh, he got out of there. And he disappeared. And then uh, after that, I got out of the car. And uh, it was people walking up the street. You know, uh, it was nighttime by this time. It was people walking up the street. And I didn't know who was who. Freddie been turning in. Who, all different kind of people. So. It was a couple of people walked by, and then it was this black guy that walked by, and he gave me a fist pound, and it felt like the, uh, the end of a uh, Nightmare on Elm Street number three movie. You know what I'm saying? That's what it was. 
number three, right? Right, because when I was going through this with Freddy Krueger, I was like, okay. And when, when I was battling him, you know, and it was like destiny, I was like, this is um, number three. I was like, this is Nightmare on Elm Street, number three, you know. Um, it's just, it's like a movie, you know what I'm saying? So at the end, I gave the guy the fist pound, the black guy that was walking up the street the fist pound, and uh, I was like, okay, yeah, you know, it was like the end of the movie. And, uh, and then I woke up.